Hello, I'm Stephanie Matthews, a mentor and nurturer of creative professionals. Welcome to Level Up, a series about preparing for your blessings through self-growth, connection, and love. Today, I want to talk to you about using everything, how your life's journey can shape your work. So what do I mean, use everything? I'm talking about all of the experiences that make you, you. On the one hand, there's our trauma, pain, feelings of disappointment and disillusionment, not to mention all the times you may have felt overlooked, underappreciated, undervalued, oppressed, or silenced. On the other hand, there are the moments of joy, all of the victories, the milestones, the successes, excitement, and love. Everything equals a unique, singular, magnificent life story. The story of who you are right now and who you are becoming. So, allow me to share something personal with you. Many people don't realize this, but the catalyst behind my photography career was the death of my father at the age of 58. To put our relationship into perspective, I was born on Father's Day and I was unequivocally a daddy's girl. My father was a wonderful and complicated man. He was brilliant, stubborn, hardworking, and he adored his family. He was one of the best men I've ever known. My entire reason for picking up a camera was to document him in his final stages of cancer. I was looking for something unexplainable, something spiritual. I was looking for the truth behind the face he revealed to the world. That thought, the face, he revealed to the world and my need to understand him and his pain is foundational to who I am as a photographer to this day. And for as devastating as it was to watch the cancer eat away at him, years later, I came to understand how my journey from grief to finding peace has influenced everything about the way I approach opportunities, create work, uh, interact with other creatives, try to elevate those around me, and work with clients to draw out something deeper from them. Let me explain some of the process. While I was mourning my father's death, I was using my pain as fuel. I was new to photography, so I started shooting more portraits, meeting new people, teaching myself studio lighting. I was shooting buildings, flowers, trees, underwater photography. Um, I was studying how light falls. I was collecting books, looking at all kinds of work, wanting to learn everything I could to better express my thoughts. So then fast forward to New York City, my moving to New York City rather. My dad had been gone for about a year or so when an opportunity presented itself. I had been referred as an intern to a high profile celebrity photographer. Long story short, I packed up and moved to New York and not even two months into my, intern into my internship, the photographer decides to move to LA. <laughs> Keep in mind, I had relocated, shipped my entire life up there, secured a sublet and spent a lot of money. And so it was very upsetting. But here's what I did. After a few days of processing the disappointment, I woke up one morning from a dream and said out loud, oh, I'll shoot dance. It literally happened like that. I woke up and decided to shift focus. Looking back, I understand it wasn't random. I mean, I had loved dance all my life. So this was a natural extension of my personality, but here, here's the thing. Being a dance photographer was never on my radar. I didn't know, I didn't even know it was a thing until I knew it was a thing. So here are some of my takeaways from that time in my life. When faced with a disappointment, process the hurt, but put a time frame on it. If you need three to four days to think about what's happened, to feel those feelings, fine. But don't let it linger for weeks. Don't put yourself in limbo. The quicker you process it, the better. Eventually, you'll get to a place where you'll say, okay, that happened. I know everything will be used for my good. What can I learn from this experience? What's next? Okay. Use your disappointments to fuel something new. It's important to move boldly and fearlessly towards the next opportunity. Don't let the dust settle. 
new opportunities create ripple effects that lead to more opportunities. And while you're waiting, soak up new knowledge, learn a new skill, stretch yourself. And finally, try to get into the habit of speaking your intentions out loud. Your words have power to create and shape your world. So let me tie all this together. Because I'm a deeply spiritual person, I believe that God wastes nothing. He uses everything. And while I'll never understand the breadth of his plan for my life, here's what I do know. One, my father's cancer journey and death helped me to be more empathetic to my clients, to key in on their emotions and be more aware of their body language, their nonverbal cues, and to look for ways of helping them feel safe and secure with me during our sessions. Two, while moving through the stages of grief, I learned to sit quietly and meditate, to look at and participate in the sights, sounds, and smells around me. I pushed myself to be more present and mindful, to be aware of my own body and what I was feeling, as well as what others might be feeling and not saying. Three, Living in Manhattan was sometimes lonely, so I made a conscious decision to speak to people on the streets, to smile at people, to start conversations, to give compliments, and generally make myself more approachable and available. That time was the start of my real understanding that giving and receiving love is the fundamentals of relationship building. And finally, as my creative passion was ignited, I began to understand what served me and what didn't. I sought out what fed my spirit. By experiencing new and different things, the world became so much larger for me. And this continues to inform my photography style and my desire to create work I would want seen on a global stage. So allow me to leave you with this blessing. What the Lord has for you will never pass you by. So have a heart that's filled with expectation. Expect good things to happen to you. So that's everything I wanted to share today. What were some of your takeaways? Have you ever had an experience that reshaped how you worked? Please like and share this video uh, post if you think it will bless someone. And feel free to comment or drop me a DM because I would love to hear from you. Thank you again for watching and I'll see you in the next episode of Love Love. Bye.